Hi, this is Eric White. I am going to take a few minutes here and walk through this document generation solution that I've put together uh, that I'm just playing around with here. Uh, I think the easiest way to get started with this is just to show you what it looks like in action and then we'll come back and pick it apart and see how it works. So here I have a template document. You'll notice I have some content up there, January 31st. I say, dear, customer name, etc. I have a table in there. If we look down, there are some other content controls that have some code in there. Not a lot of code, maybe 100 lines of code. Nothing too awfully complicated. And so now here I have a program. This program has a template that contains the boilerplate for the program that we're going to generate and it has uh, various other features. Here's the program. I'm just going to run this program. When I run it, it reads that Word document and generates another program. When I switch over to this project, this project includes the program that was just generated. There's this data file.xml that contains customers and customer and little bit of information, customer name, whether it's iValue customer, etc., and orders for each of the customers. So this would be a fairly typical XML document that you would use to drive a document generation process. So, and here is the generated code. Let's run this one. It completes, and if we come over here, we look and we see Here's a generated document, Dear Bob, on the Insert tab, blah, blah, blah. And there's the table with Bob's purchased products. And if I drop down, there are Bill's purchased products. And finally, Susie and her purchased products. So let's do something interesting. Let's come back over here, and let's just select this list here and go to the Design tab. And let's just change it to green and save it. and Let's change. We want to give more emphasis. Look, give it a give it three bangs on that and save that. Come to the first program, run it. Come to the second program. Yes, it has been regenerated, and run it. And go back and look at the generated documents. And sure enough, we have the bangs in the document and the table has been formatted with uh, you know different colors and using a different table style. Uh, you can see even more clearly when there are three rows in the table. Now let's just do something else. Here I have some content controls. These are uh, content controls that include conditional content. I'll just come down below the table and pop right here and insert that. And this says there is a predicate. If high value customer is set to true, then include the content in the content content control. I know it's a, bit, a little bit confusing. There's a content control named content. And uh, that content content control also contains a value content control showing that you can nest other of these you know metadata content controls inside of a conditional content control. Let's save that. Run the first program. I'm just going to press F5 and let it complete. Run the second program. Yes, it has been regenerated. Push F5, let it complete. And now coming back over here, we see that the conditional content is included for Bob but it is not included for Bill because he's not a high value customer, but it is included for Susie. So all along through here, the content controls, whatever we put in with regards to expressions, it just picks up the formatting of the template document. This makes it really easy to come over here and do something like uh, you know, change all of that so it has a yellow highlight background, save it, come to this one, F5, come to this one, reload, F5, and 
coming over here you can see that the data that was pulled from the XML document does have the it inherits the formatting of the text in the content control so that's enough for this video in the next video I'm gonna walk through how it works